Welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. And one of our viewers asked how to create that cinematic looking crop effect. And it's very, very easy in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna show you that today. So stay right there, we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We have our timeline, we've got our edits, but we want to give it that cool cinematic feel to it. Very, very simple. All we're gonna do is go to the timeline menu, I'm gonna go down to output blanking, and select 2.35. There, look at that, we're done. So there you go, that's how to do it. Now, now of course, there's gonna be a little bit more to that. We wanna tweak it, we wanna get things lined up properly. So we're gonna to go to our color tab, and on each clip, we can now adjust how we want it to look. So I'll be on this one. I wanna raise that car up a little bit. So on my tilt over here, I can now adjust this to get things in the frame the way I want. Now, if it just happens to work out, awesome, leave it. But if I wanna kind of recenter things, just move that tilt. Now watch the top of the screen as I tilt it too much. So I start getting more black space. Well, it's because there's no footage left. So I wanna be careful that I don't go too far and get into that negative space there. So I'll find uh, this was point of view shot and it doesn't quite look right like this so there we go now we see where that car was going and go to the next one and that looks actually pretty good go to this one I want to bring that down a bit go to this one I'm gonna bring it down That one looks good, that one looks good, that one looks good. Oh, I wanna bring this one down a little bit. So it, it is on a clip by clip basis to get it all dialed in. Now of course, if everything's the same, no problem. You can uh, just use the same settings. But I'm just gonna kinda go one at a time here. I don't have a lot of footage to deal with. And that's gonna be it for my cool little video. So once I output this, I'll have the crop cinematic look. So I'm gonna call this cinematic and I'll add that to my render queue and I'll render that out. And in a few moments, we'll have a finished product. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the suggestions. Always appreciate the comments, the feedback, the questions like this on how to do certain things, try and make the videos for you guys. So like, subscribe, check that bell icon to make sure that you get notified whenever there's a new video that comes out. And uh, check out the Patreon page if you'd really like to uh, help out with uh, different things that are going on here and uh, you know show your appreciation. There's a bunch of different tiers there on Patreon. The link's down in the description. But thank you everyone, really appreciate the support. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.